Hey, just wanted to share with you the unboxing of this new Black & Decker drill. Uh, short backstory, I uh, had this little guy for about nine years and it's a 20 volt lithium Black & Decker and it's been a fantastic drill uh, but recently the trigger stopped working and it works about oh less than half the time which is really really frustrating. I did a little surgery on it and it doesn't seem like it's going to be uh, working for a while. I might send it in for repair because it's such a good drill and it's probably worth $50 to repair it. But since I already have the battery and I just needed a drill for now, um, I went ahead and purchased this uh, Black & Decker 20 volt lithium also because it's such a good drill. So I wanted to share with you the unboxing on that really quick. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so before I unbox this, you can see by looking at the package that this is practically the same drill. So I'm hoping they really haven't changed much. The only major difference here is that this is a two-speed drill. Uh, this one was a single speed, which I didn't have any problems with. Um, it didn't have a high speed, but I was okay with that. It didn't seem to be a problem. Um, and the low speed wasn't like super crawly. Anyway, let's unbox this thing and see if we've got the similar drill here. And I'm really hoping that my battery actually is a direct replacement. Um, so I can still continue to use this battery. Uh, with this new drill, even though they changed the coloring on things a little bit here. So, uh, let's see here. At least it'll be easy to tell which drill is which. <laughs> Alright, so, here is the drill itself. Nice and shiny and new. And uh, it looks like they made one small change. They put the bit holder here on the bottom of the battery. On my old drill, it was on the back of the grip there. Tell you what, I knocked it off of there constantly. So we'll have to see if this is a better place uh, for that particular feature. This one also seems to kind of have a flat plastic. The other one was kind of shiny. Um, and then one change they did make here, uh, it actually has a two speed. So there's a one and a two. Uh, speed on that one. So um, other than that, it does seem like it's pretty much the same. Uh, it's got the same um, torque settings there, keyless chuck, uh, battery situation, uh, very similar cooling fin design. So, and honestly, the grip seems equally as comfortable. So, fits my hand pretty good. So, there's that. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm guessing there's just a battery and a charger. That should be about all there is. And battery, this particular battery is the one and a half amp hour. Um, I think it's a 1500 milliamp hour battery. Um, but you can get, I think, a two amp hour and then a four amp hour battery. Of course, they just start to get heavier and heavier and heavier. Um, I found that this one charges in about mm, 30 minutes, 45 minutes or so for me. So it's a pretty quick charge. Uh, but you know, the, the two and four amp hours, they're just going to give you that much more run time. Um, so if, I guess if you're using it for construction or all the time, it might be worth it. That or just maybe get a couple of batteries. Um, hard to say. Of course, the, the higher the capacity, the longer they're going to take to charge. So there's the battery. And this should just slip on here in the front. So let's see if that's the case here. Pretty good. Fits nice and snug. Looks like they might have worked on that mechanism a little bit too. That's a little smoother uh, release. Let's see. Actually, the question I wanted to answer was whether or not this battery fits. Supposedly they should, but. So it looks like the battery might be dead on that one, so. Uh, let's try to put this one back in there, see if there's any juice in this one. Yeah, a little bit of juice in that one, so. Very good. Okay, and then let's see. Probably the last thing in the box here. Battery charger. And I think my other drill came with a rapid charger. I don't know. Thing seems pretty massive uh, compared to what's included with this one, so um, I guess it'll just depend on the uh, 
you know the capacity of the battery how quickly it charges so this looks like a really simple charger just slips on the end of the battery there has an indicator light and then a real simple wall plug so I'll probably end up charging this from our generator since we're running an off-grid home here we don't have uh, grid power so I'll give this a try and uh, see how well it charges so that's what's in the box this is a model LDX 220C but I'll tell you what I think they hit something I think they figured it out because this drill I bought in 2006 and it looks to me like it's pretty much unchanged so if this switch hadn't gone bad I don't think I'd have replaced this drill it was it was doing great I may try to send it into Black & Decker and see if they can repair it if so it'd be nice to have two drills never can have too many of those running around so um, so I was just giving these two drills a little bit of a look over, kind of just comparing uh, the designs on them. And one really big change I actually see is they changed the chuck here from metal to plastic. That's something that concerns me because if you if you see all the scra uh, scratches and bruises on this poor little chuck, that means it's had a really rough life. And I wonder if the plastic chuck will hold up half as good because you know when you're trying to screw in a really tight corner there and it's really not a pretty place maybe next to some brick or something I mean I've practically rubbed the lock symbol off of this chuck and so this one being plastic I really doubt it's gonna hold up as good so just one thing I wanted to share there you can tell the tops this one's a little bit longer and that's probably because they put this gearbox in there to uh, make the high and low speed whereas this one's a single speed um, so I thought I would share those couple things Anyway, so that's what's included in that package. I uh, look forward to giving it a test and see if it's as good as this one was. If it is, I'll definitely give it a strong thumbs up and a good review. So thanks for joining us for this unboxing video. I uh, look forward to sharing more videos with you. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see our initial thoughts and also our future review, as well as other videos about our off-grid homestead, please follow us on our blog. It's purelivingforlife.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified of new videos that we create. We're unboxing and reviewing all kinds of crazy products as we build our own home. And also we're on Facebook and Instagram. So if you enjoy those channels, please follow us there. We post a lot of micro posts or mini posts that we don't post on the blog, so it's more current oftentimes. So if you'd like to uh, get those notifications, don't forget to subscribe. We'll also be doing some giveaways in the near future, so if you'd like to be uh, notified of those, uh, put your email in on the blog there, and you'll find out about them when they come out instead of after they come out. So thanks for joining us for this video. We'll see you in the next one.